Her friend isn't here tonight. Aaliyah was walking across the carpet just about an hour ago. On the rug, stepped on a bee. Wow. Out of the pincer went up. On the rug? But she got it out. But it caused a good deal of pain, so she stayed home. Yeah, she didn't stay home. She screamed and fell asleep. The leader follow up. Well, now that we have all of that settled, <laughs> play with being early. What's the reason for the rhetorical device? Any kind well, of literary device. Well, I'm going to put it this way: the least literary or rhetorical device. Any kind. Yeah. Okay. That bullshit like they teach you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, what's in the work itself. Therefore, let me suggest. All right. We might be able to do a slow, because the the writing is hand handwritten style. From 516 to 519, which is the end of Socrates' speech to the beginning of Alcibiades. What page is that? 516. Oh, I can't read that. No, it's hard to look. That's right. Yeah. You're right. How about reading for us? Care to? Just a. Uh, the end of that very right. section right before the speech of Alcibiades? Yeah. Starting at 516. We'll pass it around. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the one in the speech of Alcibiades? Yeah. Oh, it's the starting with the speech of Alcibiades? Quite true. That's, just, that's where I go. My last page. Oh, you're feeding the table. Do you have any more? No. Um, after that? It's a handwriting. Yeah, that was a handwriting. Do you have a page after that, though? Yeah. No, I just brought it. You don't have page? They did sign an order. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, no, it's all the handwriting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's all the handwriting. Well, that's he got the first half. He got the first half. You do have a chunk of it, David, to answer your question. You should. 517 is part of it. Do you have that? Nope. But Paul said he feeds me pieces of it. So, Socrates, having just spoken, the rest praised his oration. But Aristophanes endeavored to say something because Socrates in his speech had mentioned him. On a sudden, however, a loud knocking was heard at the door of the porch, <laughs> together with the voices of in the intoxicated and the sound of the pipe. Upon this, Agatha said to the servants, See who are there. And if there is anyone among them fit for this company, call him in. If not, say that we are no longer drinking. Not long after this, the voice of Alcibiades, who was very much intoxicated, was heard in the court, asking where Agatha was, and commanding, commanding to be led to him. The flute player, therefore, and some other of his companions, brought him to Agatha, and stood with him, 
at the door. He being crowned with a garland of ivy and violet, having many fillets on his head, and exclaiming, All hell, my friends, either receive his your associates in drinking a man very much intoxicated, or let us depart, crowning Agatha alone, for whose sake we came. For I could not, said he, be with you yesterday, but now I come with fillets on my head, that from my own I may crown the head of the wisest and the most beautiful person, if I may be something allowed, 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 so, to allowed so to speak. Good. Okay. This is an example of literature padding. Yeah. Right. So obviously you can't relate to anything. Therefore, called the tan. Padding. <coughs> Character and drama, right, are not related to the dialogue, it's just padding. Or, yeah. it has to be it meaningful. It are there some sort of form that it's partaking to which might relate yeah. to the meaning and help us? Yeah. And the function. Well, he's intoxicated. They are intoxicated. There's something about that. Well, in the myth that we had some intoxication. Poverty and plenty. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty was. And he came to see the wisest, right? The crown and of most wisest beautiful. and most beautiful. Yeah. Well, I couldn't be there the day before. Is that can the least letter mm -hmm. literary or, yeah. in other words, Which? most rhetorical? Yeah. No, the least literary or quote yeah. rhetorical. Right. I have an equal value. Yes. Okay. Well, I still don't know where that comes from. You don't want me. Okay. Well, this is tr certainly a philosophical work, and it's been reputed to be. Well, actually, you know what they say. The authorities say that this is done. This bears relationship to opera, mostly Mozart where they get up and they yell a while and then they sit down and then the music goes on and then they get up and yell for a while and the music goes on. And it's not integrated. Mm. Mm. It's not what? It's integrated. It's not like Italian opera. Therefore, you know, we can dismiss this as... It is integrated, though. How? <laughs> it, it, because what it does is it further expound just what was discussed between Diotene and Socrates as um, using the myth and he, he personifies what was said before. And in what way and how? Right. <laughs> Such as? <laughs> Line them up. He, he, he develops the whole myth into a living reality. So I think very integrated, and it's and we the see. next step higher to focus in on exactly what the myth means. And so you're saying there's a parallel between the myth and this section? Oh, most emphatically. All right, then we're going to be able to line up the characters and the relationships. Right, that's why when you said that Plenty was drunk, and so was Alcibiades. However, well, I don't. I'm just. Yeah, I know. Up. I know you're. I may not mean anything right now. I know, but the only problem with that is that how the bodies is hardly exemplifies money. He's the one who's you're right. property. You're right. I so agree with that. That doesn't fit. No. <coughs> Yet he's so reported to be very good. Sounds about his description. This is suggesting the larger context with which we should appeal to make it meaningful. We, I've indicated by these numbers, uh, just at random, a bunch of points that are made. Should not each of these points either fit in here, or we'll just say they're outside and therefore irrelevant, and therefore it's the obvious mark of a hasty writer. Didn't consider these things serious. You always try and trap somebody who has points, don't you? 
Well, you okay. almost had me for a <laughs> So, how would you proceed? I'd proceed by looking for the obvious first and knock them out first. The, the coming to the door. Yeah, hanging All right. around the All right. door. All right. Hanging around the door. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> we can get by being drunk because that doesn't work. Okay. Would you agree? Hanging around the door, I mean, that is a major theme in the whole work. Right from the beginning? Is that fair to say? Was he hanging around the door? Well, he was out there knocking. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Spend some time at it. So, <coughs> would, you, would you agree there's a theme in the doorway? Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't do it. Okay. Socrates, before he even gets to the, the banquet. It's in the door. In the portal. There's obviously there's some love sudden. interest. Right. Yeah, and there's also mm -hmm. in poverty. Right. She's in the doorway. Uh -huh. So we have in the background. Right. Apollo Bakers was there. Right. Sounds like all one the sudden we're back down to Right. Earth. One sock. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when? all we need there for is the beginning and end of that segment dealing with the doorway. All of a sudden. So, you have it? Yes, please. <clears throat> um, on a sudden, however, so that's important, a loud knocking was heard at the door of the porch, together with the voices of the intoxicated. <coughs> And the sound of the pipe. Upon this, Sagatho said to the servants, See who is there. <coughs> and if there is any one among them fit for this company, call him in. If not, say that we are no longer drinking. Not long after this, the voice of Alcibiades, who was very much intoxicated, was heard in the court. I can't figure out the next word. Something where Agatha was. Would be asking? Asking where Agatha was. And commanding to be led to him. This is a pretty clear picture of Alcibiades. Yeah. We needed the keep going. Yeah. The flute player, therefore, and some other of his companions brought him to Agatho and stood with him at the doors. He being crowned with a garland of ivy and violets having many Phillips in his head, on his head, and acclaiming, all hail, my friends, either receive as your associate in drinking a man very much intoxicated, or let us depart. Okay. I'm telling Agatha alone, or when for whose sake we came. Agatha doing the good. Okay, what can you do with that? And then what principle shall we work? Well, it looks like we're using the myth. Yeah. If, if you want to stereotype with the myth, though, there is something perverse about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, because the, the goals are changed. Uh, if, if that's yeah. poverty, poverty is drunk, then it's supposed to be, like was mentioned, One. plenty is correct. Okay. Plenty is supposed to be All right. So there's something. Poverty, poverty is straight. 
but plenty is intoxicated. Right. Here, switch. Right. Good. More? Good. Poverty um, can come in and plenty, plenty goes out, and po that's what poverty is in, in, in the patio or the movie passes out. You know, not in the park, they're inside. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It changes again. It's, it's um, you know, in the myth, it's, it's plenty who goes outside of the party, and and um, and poverty can't come in here. You know, Zeus's park. Here, here, Al Spidey comes in. Joins the party. So, does it make any difference to the story that Agathon is the word for the good? Well, that certainly would line him up with um, with plenty, wouldn't it? Okay. In any case, is he is he pursuing? Is he pursuing? Or did they get him to come? Is it beauty, good, the good, or the beautiful? No. Did he stay in the doorway, or did they get Agathon to come? They they called him in. Right. Under certain conditions. Pardon. You have to look later, but they got Agathon to come. Yeah, they got Agathon to come. Then he didn't pursue. Hmm. Agatha, Agatha therefore came. Yeah. yeah. Led okay. by his companions. Right. Hmm. Alcibiades, wasn't it? Was led by his Where? companions? No, page, the next page, down about the fourth, fourth line. Agatha therefore came, led by his companions. <coughs> And Alcibiades at the same time taking off his of flits. Where was I at all? He's there, was he? And he sent door. his servants to oh. He sent his servants yeah, under certain conditions. And he just yeah. We're trying to find out who's pursuing who, right? It looks like well, looks like Alcibiades is pursuing kind of Agathon. Get everything here and then we can contrast it with the map. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I was just <coughs> like he's called the wisest, beautiful, most beautiful. Huh? Pardon? Mm -hmm. The most beautiful. Yeah, quite true. Mm -hmm. This would be like Aphrodite. And he puts the garlands on his head. Mm-hmm. It's crowning. Take them off at his own head. Right. Right. The crowning. Now. Looking for the paper. Sarah, No, I'm just writing the paper. Ah. What's the significance of the ivy or the violets? It's Dionysius. The violets also? Mm -hmm. the violets. Violets, well, and violets and ivy. The fillets. The fillets and what the significance the of the uh, ivy, and ivy and violets yeah, what is on that? his head? Dionysius. Symbols for Dionysius. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So is the wine. Yeah. So it's the intoxicant. The fluid madness. Is uh, Reed and ivory, ivory and uh, ivy and violets. Ivy and uh, what? Violets. 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 Is that the bullets? Yeah. And, and That's what's that in the Fine. And the, the, the fact that it might signify Dionysus means that they're seeking pleasure? Mm. I'm on other things. It's not going to be Okay. Look here. Um, Will you agree nothing seems to fit? It seems backwards and mixed up. It mm -hmm. does. Totally. Totally. Nothing fits. Ah. But I think that's a hope. Ah. <laughs> also, well, even in the even in Alcibiades' speech, it doesn't fit either. 
So we're probably just fooling around with some sort of <laughs> dramatic now, Plenty described as the most because beautiful? Because he, descri you know, he, he, he described himself as the beloved. Well, we can go on oh, into that, but it, that's confused too. Okay. Yeah, because he's, he has Agamemnon coming to him. Yeah, well, he's got Socrates coming to him, but he's chasing Socrates. So he thinks he's the beloved, but he's not. You know, I mean, things are really confused. Yeah, that's even further. Right. When we go yeah. back into the myth and look at it, then we can really see how it doesn't fit. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's enough. There's no sex. Not, no not sex. yet. Wait, not yet. There's no test. No sex. <laughs> Who are lying by the side of and conceiving is the same verse. That's what's happening. Thank you, Lord. But they do exchange crowns. <laughs> what did she do? Come on. <laughs> She's still in the Come on, what's your on? What is Barbara? I didn't, he just said no sex, and you said, huh? And I, he said no sex, and I said no lying by the side and conceiving with. So to speak. So to speak. Because <laughs> I was just referring oh, to Ralph. that's right. I thought David was being a smart ass, and then I realized this. <laughs> I appreciate that, though. The first thing you think of me is that I'm being a smart ass. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be better than thinking he was a dumb ass. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an interesting IQ, wouldn't it? Oh. I think that so. the whole idea is that the drunk gives him a, an excuse to behave in a totally uninhibited fashion, even though he's not drunk. It's just to provide him with a way of getting to what he wants to, and not, you know, like somebody's drunk, they say, oh, I didn't know I was doing this, I'm so drunk, you know. And yet they know everything they're doing, but they're just pretending no, as they're just that's under the influence and that's an aren't able sure. to control their behavior. Well, that's okay if it's meaningful. It is meaningful. Well, I'm just saying, if it's meaningful, you're out. It's meaningful because it's a form of deception. It means that he really wants somebody there, some type of love. So he pretends he just happens no, to be he he comes right high outside and is drunk. And, and he did have every intention of getting drunk. Well, and maybe he had intention with it, but he said to know that I'm drunk and you'll laugh at me because of the way I'm behaving, but I'm gonna, you, I am, you'll have to understand that I'm drunk. He puts that up as a pretext to be given. Because he speaks most soberly when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Good sentence, right? <laughs> our, our, so far, our premises. Not, that uh, the elements of the myth are there, but it's all meant. That's what we're saying. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. We can't identify the property clearly. It's a rhetorical device. Yeah, there's appearance to it, but then there's an underneath the elements. Okay, then the, the, uh, it allows us to make a contrast, and a contrast is in terms of the myth ridiculous. Right. In that old sense. Okay. Well, let's go back into it, all right? Now if you wanted to do it if you wanted to Yeah, okay. If you wanted to play now, we go back and look at it again. And let me ask you to take a look at the dialogue. After all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden he comes loud, intoxicated voice, and the pipes are playing. See who's there, loud and on. Notice the either or. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, conditions. Let's go back. All right, look at it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. See if you skip. See who are there, and if there's anyone among them fit for this company, call them in. All right. Fit for our company. 
Now, how are they going to know that? If not. If not, say we are no longer drinking. If they weren't, if so if he's drunk, let him say, in? Well, mm -hmm. just no. tell him to get lost. Why yeah. do you have to say yeah. that we're not drinking? That's right. Right. That they're not drinking. What does that indicate? Come on, in terms of the story. They are drinking. They're not drinking. They they're not drinking yet. Right. But, but remember in the beginning, drink only as much as you want. Mm -hmm. It looked like there was going to be an uproarious ball. Everybody, I, I said they were everybody is talking. Everyone's talking and no one's drinking. I don't think well, they, they started out as a little bit wasted from yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, they all have. <laughs> all right. So now he's saying, see if he's fit. See if he's a fit, fit companion you to mean, our group. I mean, you so mean that, that, that term family. fit has nothing to do with the fact that he's drunk or not. Just whether or not he's the kind of guy we'd like to be. Or do you think it's a medical fit? Oh, no. no. Is he is he interested in philosophy? Can he talk about love? That's what I would say. Yeah. yeah. Is he fit for this company? Yeah. He should have gave a speech. Uh huh. Right. right. And if not, say we're not we're not drinking. If not, say we're no longer drinking. Oh, because he's probably drunk. Because he's probably drunk. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be interested. So they let an intoxicated man in where the others are not intoxicated. Yeah. That's right. He broke his rule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Ah, there we go. Uh, right. What rule? Hackathon no. said the rule. To, to let, them, let them in if they were fit. Yeah, but oh. there's no evidence that anyone let him in. No, okay. Him. But it went against Agathon's wishes. Oh, I don't see Because oh, okay. it doesn't say, um, doesn't say he can't, he can't be drunk. I mean, it's all lies in what uh, you're saying for a fit for this company. Okay. It, it's whether or not he could give a good uh, speech equal to yeah. the level of the others in an intoxicated manner, I guess, would be. Whether he would be fit or not. Well, see, but what is he asking him to do? Make it just see who are there, working. and if there is anyone among them fit for this company. Go and use your judgment, right? Mm -hmm. And only call in those good <coughs> for our company. Yeah. Right. Can we try right? And he says, hey, if not, you know, just say we're no longer drinking. The assumption being that uh, since you heard the voices and they're intoxicated, that they're all drunk and they'll go on their way. And it's just called the Yeah, this isn't a drinking party. We're it's talking. not a drinking party. Mm -hmm. You hear the intoxicating right. voices up from the, uh, from the, the courtyard? <coughs> Agree? Even like if first. there's just one okay, that's sober that or fit. All right, look here. Does Agathon oh. propose something? Yes. Or does he hold to it? Does the story hold to it, or is no. it violated? No. However, it's violated. Yeah. Or what? Well, they let a drunk in. Uh, well. So is he fit for their company? Although you may say, as no. uh, Alcibiades is commanding them to be to leading, you know, like it looks like he forced his way in there. As well. Yeah. Okay. So, but he's still yeah. he's still wanting on his proposal. But they let him stay when so even when he says. No. It says the flute player yeah, brought so him yeah, and others, and others, others as companions to Agathon. Please. Yes, yeah, so he was. He was, he was heard in the courtyard where right. Agathon yeah. was, and commanded and commanding to be led to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the service at this point could have said. We're obeying the master's rule. We're not drinking. We're not drinking. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. He said, no, no, no. All right. So then he's, and this is what we have here. Right. Yeah, yeah, but the servants, you know, they know Agathon real well. They know uh, also about he's a good friend. It you know, could be heard the servant using their judgment in that sense, too. Yeah, okay. Well, well, if he's well, any well, other old trunk, they wouldn't let him in. No. But what does this tell us about, what does this tell us about the possible structure of the story? It's going, going to go back just to like thing. this, you know. It's going to go just like we've seen so far, that nothing's matching up. Or he's breaking the rules. Everything's backwards. That's a good purpose. If any of them are fit, bring them in. Call yeah. them in. Or call them right. Noble. It would continue the, the dialogue. Mm -hmm. It would continue the speeches. He wants to preserve it. But it's violated. Right? But it's violated. <coughs> That means the myth would be violated. That's what it looks like. So there's something good 
a proposal and it's violated. There's something good the meant and it's violated. Mm -hmm. I guess my speech is certainly mm -hmm. a violation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's in poverty. Pardon? You could see him as in poverty. Like they say, those who are fit or those who are in plenty can come in. No. See, now this game, in order to play this game, uh, none of these points have sufficient weight in themselves. Mm -hmm. It's got to be circumstantial evidence, right? Right. The whole pick, the, if you can do it to all of them, and if they all point in a the direction, then the mosaic, the overall image, gains some, some credibility. But as up to this point, all we're doing is looking for even stretching our imaginations, perhaps to see whether we can hook when it you in. you say all of them, are you referring to like Dirk, Dumas, No. If we could take on page 5th, 5, 16, yeah, and identify good. each reference in that speech, as I do with numbers here. The reference in the Alcibiades speech? That's right. Oh, okay. As an example, all right, the first one okay, I'd say. I got your point. All right, I the first one would be this whole thing. Having thus spoken, the rest praised his oration, but Aristophanes endeavored to say something because Socrates in his speech had mentioned him. Oh, bang, all of a sudden. Now, what's that doing? Huh? What does that mean? Can you do anything with that? It looks like we just came back down to earth from being up in a, on a very high plane with Socrates and the description of beauty which came suddenly. No, it's a, it, it begins a comedy. It begins a comedy? Yeah, it began, a beginning of the comic sequence in Aristophanes' place. We have some clouds. But why, why would this answer, why, what suggests a clown activity in that first sentence? It would be, well, Aristophanes was going to encounter, I don't know. I he's a comedian. He's, he's a comedian. Yeah, okay. Um, look, try to, what would, what would you call that phase of the discussion of the banquet? Uh, rebuttal. Rebuttals. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Reflections. <laughs> so that starts, and it's over. He doesn't even get a word out. <laughs> So we can say, all right, the theme starts, the starting thing is reflections on it, rebuttals, defenses, right, defense, attack, explain, etc. All of that kind of reflective activity on it. Doesn't go anywhere, and then bang, it comes out of spiders. So that that's the first. No reflection. Got to deal with that in some way. Right. We have to deal with every one of these points in order to play the game. And then if the overall begins to have a pattern, a mosaic, then we have it. Then we can say something. So, save, the best thing to do when you play this is to go through and pick the easiest ones first. Knock all those out. Because you can't make the easy ones fit, you know, without the theory. Don't work on the only the hard ones. Call Agathon the wisest man after Agathon's speech. You know? I mean, that's that's, a, that's hilarious. Isn't that, is, <laughs> that is crazy. The yeah. biggest bomb in the whole. Right. Walking the hardest thing, walking on the head, the heart, heads of men. Yeah. My father says. It's a tragic speech. <laughs> Tragedy is fun. <laughs> 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 
shadow? Yeah. Shadow of the divine. Right? There's the divine mm -hmm. realm, and our everyday world is the shadow of the divine. Right? Therefore, there's going to be more or less copy, model copy, and it's always weaker, and always appearance stands to reality, doesn't it? And if so, there's a transformation of figures, right? Left, right, right, left, and all the confusion that follows. <laughs> what about that? Mm -hmm. If we hold that as a possibility, mm -hmm. lovers become beloved, some beloved. Yeah, they switch mm -hmm. yeah. the symmetry. Mm -hmm. So the, the as you, as you just indicated, so the, the person who was the lowest of all the speeches, right, is now praised by someone like Alcibiades. Mm -hmm. being, Why? Being right. Who wasn't even present. To right. discover what even what what and what happened, yeah. and you didn't see him yesterday. It wasn't the speech yesterday? No. Yeah, yeah. That was also yeah. That was the. Uh, I thought it was the drinking. I, that was. But there was yeah, a, there was speech. a speech. There was a. The, this is the second banquet. It's still after, after right? right? And isn't this just everything turns around? Because he won first prize. Was the day before. Yeah. First prize. And then the everything the starts turning around. Um, as soon as. Uh, Alcibiades has heard that he's the voice of intoxication. The voices of the intoxicated. Okay. Take the same principle. Is there an intox is there an intoxication here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is a distortion <coughs> of the shadow of the real. Mm -hmm. yep. But the beloved there is intoxicated and in here it appears that the that the lover is intoxicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And later it turns yeah. out that may all be yeah, a that scam. Mean, and a that's scam. right. That yeah, may, may not scam. really be intoxicated. Because he's got this game of playing lover. It's but like <laughs> Bruce said, it's yeah. pretty sober uh, and I don't know, uh, when did he say Agathon gave a good speech? I don't remember. It says the wisest. Wisest. The wisest, my buddy. <laughs> um, I think he probably yeah, he was referring to the speech that that Agathon gave before Socrates' speech. Right. right. No, it was our analysis that he may not have heard Agathon give his speech, but if he comes in and says Agathon the wisest, we've just heard from, from Agathon, and it certainly wasn't very wise. You know, the reason I thought he did that was that because it was Agathon was a host, and of course, when you come in, you first of all greet the person whose house it is and you compliment him or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> we lay a bunch of bull on him, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that may be too. All of these things can be understood in a variety of ways. We want to see whether or not we can take all of those references and put them into a larger context, which is consistent, and therefore whether it doesn't behoove us to consider the contextual way of understanding, even though all of the particulars can equally function. I mean, would that relate to Aphrodite being the most beautiful? Yeah, well, it, and uh, that's one of the good issues, isn't it? I mean, he's yeah. coming in yeah. the house of that the area. And it's the house of the good. Mm -hmm. right. The house of the good to which the good can go unbidden. If that's the case, can we go back to the ticklish one we had, the first sentence? Yeah, what is it? The starting thing starts out with the right. mm -hmm. reflection is beginning to stop. Ah! <coughs> it starts and it stops. Right. Wouldn't that be the same thing? Sure. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. You couldn't. You're back into the shadow. Yeah, back into the shadow. Mm. The, the well, it didn't even start. The annoyance mm -hmm. turned. Well, on such grounds, why don't we go to the bottom of 516 and jump to 517 and do the same? Keep that in mind. Play the game, right? Oh, okay. Can you remember what reference Socrates? Yeah. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Oh, he said, some people think that they're looking for their lovers, but their other, other half. Their other half, 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 yeah. Other half, yeah. But they don't look very nice. Well, they really don't look good. Pardon me, one on one. Well, he refuted his statement. Stop at one on one. No, that, I was just finishing the quote. Say it again. I mean, there was a big point. The diet team that said, you know, he said, much more important than just gazing all day long at somebody, mm -hmm. you know, like an idiot, saying you're in love. You know, spending your whole life with them. You have your darlings with you and all that business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he was making that was totally uh, inane or uh, of a very little value in a person's life to have that as their final goal. Whereas you could have something so much more beautiful if you could give birth to ideas and so forth and so on. As that I point out. And in that might be the reference to Aristophanes that he might want to rebut when he finished his speech. That's my, how I relate to it. How about the section at the top of page 101 in the which Pierre just offered? At the top, oh, top of 101. Oh, yeah. Not for a hit, nor indeed the whole, unless I have to do something good, my friend. This man is willing to tell his own hands and feet at this message. I wasn't thinking of that so much as I was but on the page. But at least that one would deal with Right. Yeah, 104? Yeah, that's there too. Okay, let me give you the uh, problem that this brings up. I think we've got enough. Uh, let's go on, of course, but uh, let me give you the problem. Kind of a fun problem. <laughs> if so, If so, then we can say, can we not? We can raise this hypothesis. But therefore, Alcibiades is going to be talking from this viewpoint. Mm -hmm. <coughs> therefore, his vision, his vision is going to be stunted. Doesn't mm -hmm. it? Therefore, he'll be able to see a great deal because he's going to be giving a talk about Socrates, but it'll only be the shadow of something. What are the implications of that on his speech? And how can we, by looking at it reflectively, add to it? We have to look behind the shadow of it. But, we have but he, he puts the qualifier in that if he says anything that is untrue about Socrates, Socrates is to break in and say that that is untrue. Mm -hmm. So he can say the shadows without being untrue. That's right. That's right. He can just not have the whole thing. True shadows. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Opinion. That's right. Yeah. Therefore, right. our right. task right. as readers should be, right. if we can you know, say all of this, then how to read it so that when you read it, you can add to it the dimension of the person. Now, what do you get? And is it worth it, of course, is the fun action. You have to look at the context of the dialogue. Well, you might also you might find you might, might, might find most often in the phenomenal world that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Which you may be able to turn around in your own experience. Okay, let's try it this way now. That's right. That's right. Sure. Uh, what would happen now if we just read it from this point further and see how much just naturally fits in it? That's what we're saying. Naturally fits. And what doesn't, and we identify those, and that becomes the work, especially of those who like to play this game. Right. 
Yeah, you too. <laughs> Especially you. The sun didn't show up today. Ralph says, then Agath Agathon said to the staff, boys, go and see about that. If it is one of our friends, ask him in. If not, say we are not drinking now. So, friends, big difference. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then, see, if it's there, you see this? <laughs> it loses them. Mm -hmm. See, now you have a, see, now you have a criteria of translation. So. Mm -hmm. Mark that there is one among them to fit. Right? Mm -hmm. Because that's a lot of difference. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially if you're buying it from the city. Right. It's your own account. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of the friends. Yeah. All right. Barbara, why don't you read? Since wow. you're doing nothing over there but reflecting. <laughs> from just the, the bottom same, of five the same thing. Mm -hmm. Taking the shot. Right. Yeah. In the shot. From the bottom of five to sixteen with yeah. however or from yeah. one to two. Uh, <coughs> however, though you may laugh, I well know that I speak the truth. But tell me immediately whether I may come into him or not, and whether you continue drinking or not. All the company, therefore, was in an uproar, and ordered him to enter and seat himself. Anarchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Anarchy. They went over the host's wishes. The good. He forced himself in, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which he accordingly did and called for Agathon. Agathon there therefore came, led by his companion, uh -huh, and Alcibiades at the same time taking off his fillet, that he might crown him, did not see Socrates, though he sat before him. <laughs> right? How does that fit? You couldn't see him. Can't see him. Yeah. As the speech the will show. The presence of the divine is in the shadow. Yeah, which the mm -hmm. speech will show. He doesn't see him. But set, but set. Okay, that's enough. I'll tell you what, I don't want to bite. Just a little bit more. You know, if you were to take a look at the uh, steps, in uh, Haida's Academy in Brooklyn. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't wonder where those Byzantine steps his name. The top step led to the L train. It is said that if you read the dialogue carefully, for each one of the for each of these steps, you also find a change in the seating. Now, from this section on, there's going to be a whole battle over the seating. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of right? mm -hmm. It ends up with the great sitting, right? The great. It ends up with the great sitting, and that is the problem that Paul is going to give a talk on. Yeah. And who was supposed to go next? Right? It was the man on the right, wasn't it? The philosopher? Right? Well, the tragic? Mm -hmm. And the comic poet. Or, what is the relationship between philosophy, comedy, and tragedy? Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, given that he's very careful about where people sit, he gives the sitting arrangement. If we have the sitting arrangements in front of us, then we can see what's being interrupted. Because the order was Aristophanes. Let's call it the go from left to, left to right, right? Moving left to right. right we could see, uh, it's it's uh, comedy, tragedy, philosophy. One, two, three. Socrates being last. Now here's Agathon. What does Alcibiades do? Puts himself between. All right. Puts himself between. What does that mean? Yeah, between between tragedy. Now, if you buy this rather foolish assumption, just for an evening, it's entertainment, then of course you're obliged to show the meaning of all the other changes that have occurred. 
And therefore, Mark, who has agreed tonight to give a whole talk about the significance of hiccuping in the symposium, <laughs> yeah, and why that played such a critical role and allowed Erximachus, therefore, to shift with Aristophanes and allow, therefore, Aristophanes to fill in the position that he was assigned. I mean, not assigned, but originally. Mm -hmm, right. You'll do that. Right. That's a good one. Because that's still, you see, that's still sitting Do they, do they change, when, when the hiccuping scene happened, do they change the uh, no, order of speech. speech. Order of the speeches. But not the so physical. So, in that figure, one must be sitting, would be a, a, a Ritzimachus. Yeah, the order of the speech is different than the, the setting. Right. Right. And that, yeah, that's why we need to talk about it. Yeah. What's the significance of it? Mm -hmm. In the mark of work. Yeah. And how do they relate to the stuff? Right. That's, uh, you can only figure that out. And no, I don't like Science. anybody beginning this discussion with talking about mean analogies, you know, that kind of thing, as if there are only three terms. Because yeah. that's not going to mean a thing. Well, <laughs> Alcibiades couldn't possibly be a mean analogy. <laughs> okay, all right. I right, just wanted to add that so we could have a little more fun. Good, keep reading. Okay. Um, Alcibiades, at the same time taking off his fillets that he might crown him, did not see Socrates, though he sat before him, but sat near Agatha, and between him and Socrates. For Socrates had made way for him that he might sit. Alcibiades, therefore, being seated, saluted and crowned Agatha. And then Agatha said... Therefore, he thinks he's the last member in the chain. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's right. There's no one else to speak. Huh? What a fool. Then Agatha said, Boys, take off the shoes of Alcibiades, that he may recline as the third among us. Oh, the third? What do you mean, boy? Alcibiades <laughs> said, Say what? By all means, but ask, Who is this third drinking companion of ours? Wait, and now what does he become? Shoeless. Huh? Yeah, shoeless. Oh. Ah, yes. Poverty. Unshod. Unshod. All right. Unshod. Okay, bye. Alcibiades said, by all means, but asked, who is this third drinking companion of ours? And at the same time, turning himself round, saw Socrates. But seeing Wait, him... What did he have to do? Turn, turn himself, around. Turn, around. Turn, turn himself around. Ah. To see him. At the same time, turning himself around, saw Socrates. Is it about language? That's right. See, see any higher. Right. Well, another point for our translation. At the same time, he turned around and saw something. Oh boy! But seeing him, he started and exclaimed, "O oh Heracles, what is this? Are you again sitting here to ensnare me? As is as it is usual for you to appear suddenly where I." least expected to find you. Wow. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Suddenly again. It's like you knew I was going to Appearing show up suddenly. you've been waiting for me. Hmm. Appearing suddenly, too. And that's just happened. Mm -hmm. Jumping in. That least going to suddenly appear. No. Suddenly. But it's like Socrates ensnaring him. Yeah. 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 He's the hunter. So yeah. Waiting, and he's the prey. Yeah. Not yeah. not the other way. Yeah. Well, Socrates did move over and make way that he might sit. Mm -hmm. It was either that or be sat on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he didn't have to move over. He couldn't let Alcibiades sit on him. No, see, every point you make, you can either take it on that level, or you can try to push it into, into contact, into the contact with it. Because would you not agree, if he really tried to do this, and he couldn't do it on a couple of points, that shows the guy was losing. You know. Should the guy what? He, he, he had a noble 
thought in mind, but he couldn't really do it. He didn't have the artistry. He tried as much as he could. He really was just laughed, you know. Couldn't pull it off. Second, right? Yeah, couldn't pull it off. So where's the moving aside on each? Is that an important point point to be able to slide one way or another? Well, let's see. That's the fun you can have with this, right? Do you finally assign to it some external material that is just there because you need it? Yeah. Like, to what extent must that be? Is it every word, you know, or is yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. It's that last question. And even like he's suggesting that they were drinking upstairs. Like in the Republic, is the Republic weak? Is the analogy is poor? You know, basically poor. I never prefer that. Well, every city, would you not agree, either suffocates on itself, or it has to have <coughs> some way of handling its waste material. Right. A dump and a serve. Uh -huh. Plato's Republic. Of course, efficient in this respect. Therefore, as a particular ideal state, as a block trying to escape. Well, everyone make points. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's, the, that's the point. That's the point of exclusion. Okay. Now put one in. In. Is it not possible there may be some of the things which you have to talk about and talk about so that are not necessarily involved in? Mm -hmm. This used to be the problem of the. Uh, if God is a mighty fortress, right, does that mean there must be a latrine? Mm. Because without it, you know, mighty fortresses are going to sink. <laughs> yes. Right, you can play on that. Uh -huh. right? You say, no, no, that's not the intention. You're stretching it beyond the yeah. truth. So, similar, either two, there may be positive in some things that one excludes, mm -hmm. but it doesn't weaken it. So that's the, that's the next issue. So we can go on. Yeah, charge. And that's the one about sliding over. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, could I just interrupt you? <laughs> that's that little diagram you have where two tragic... Oh, that really should be three, shouldn't it? Because didn't Agathon go beyond and let him come in? Well, that's the end. That's where he's talking about. Yeah. There. Uh, you know, that's on the left down the bottom. <laughs> if that's what you have reference to. Keep talking. Yeah, well, see, uh, number one is right, it's Aristophanes, and then number two was Agathon, but then he switched places and came around to let Alcibiades sit in front of okay. Socrates. Mm -hmm. So tragedy comes at the end, and... I don't know what Alcibiades... Okay, all right, that's good. Keep going, that's good. That's right. The Alcibiades... Yeah, you can do this, you can say... Yeah, that's Agathon, who represents tragedy, and he comes after the philosopher now. So the philosopher is somewhere in between tragedy and comedy. And I'm not quite sure what Alcibiades represents. Right. Which they you keep playing. Uh, well, that's the old. I, I just have a, a feeling that there's something about Alcibiades that represents um, the in between of comedy and uh, tragedy, Good. which is. Good. That he becomes a mean between the two. He's the mean between the two. Ridiculous and, and tragic. Both at the same time. Both at the same time, but he's pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be that used to be, a, that used to be a question of the Monopolis Mountain. That used to be a question where? Of the Naval Academy. You had to be able to answer that question. Where? The Naval Academy? Do you know that? Was Alphabite was, was pathetic? Yeah, and in what way? Ah, and if you couldn't answer it in these terms, they never allowed you to get in the Naval Academy. <laughs> And that's why we used to have such strong meetings. Yeah, that's why we have sales. Yeah. 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 They contemplated their new books. Enough of this for all. <laughs> oh, they were right. contemplators. Right. Yeah. I was wondering what the label was good for. Besides Kent. Well, they later changed it to the belly button. Did they? <laughs> they wanted any more. No, they changed it to anatomical. Yeah. <laughs> well, reminds us of our former nature.
<laughs> before this descends any more to the ridiculous, I can charge and save us from the devil. It's getting pathetic. I don't think the ridiculous is more than you. And now, for what purpose are you here? And why do you sit in this place? And not with Aristophanes, or with some other who is ridiculous and wishes to be so. So, where does he want to put Sach? Aristophanes, or ridiculous person, and who wants to be ridiculous. Those who want to be ridiculous. Those who are ridiculous and want to be. That's where you want to be. Yeah, what a proposed time. That's where you want to be. Our stock is the one to be ridiculous. No, he claims it. Good. Keep going. And you have contrived to sit with the most beautiful of the guests. Contrived. Does that strike you as an important word? Mm -hmm. well, Mighty Hunter. Like, um, Weaver of devices. Yeah, mm -hmm. plenty. But the most beautiful of the guests. Right. That's the other he problem. Wants to sit with plenty. He wants to follow That's Alfred Hyde. Huh? But it's a Greek word. It goes back and forth. Yeah, it's a Greek word for guest, the word that goes back and forth. It can be either guest or host. There's a word. I forget. What about the guests? Yeah. They're custom. No, no. I was just. I was. I, I seem to recall from my first year Greek that the that the word in Greek. That's why I was asking David. For guests can also mean host, that it's a term that goes back and forth, it doesn't explicitly mean one or the other. But no. he, he encountered with the fact that there's a word xenos, which does in fact mean guest, which could be the word being used in the text. How, see, how important that would be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that would indicate the guy is he really is feigning drunkenness or he's drunk. Mm -hmm. He's calling the host. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if it is host, then it's just, you know, mm -hmm. Is there something said at the beginning of which you eliminate the host to ask her? Mm -hmm. Unless he's talking about himself when he's saying with the most beautiful mm -hmm. of the guests. Mm -hmm. No, because Socrates speaks with him. Mm -hmm. well, Socrates says that to him. Can you talk a little about Socrates loud, says that to him. Socrates says that to him. He says he won't uh, he won't be set with anyone. So that implies he's not talking about uh, sitting with himself with uh, Alcibiades. He can assist me for loving man I told uh, since from the time which I began loving I'm no longer liberty either behold or speak to any future person. See, if it is reflective in the way in the child is speaking. Take the implications of that in that sentence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Socrates said to Agathon, See if you can assist me. For the love of this man is not to me a vile thing, since from the time in which I began to love him, I am no longer at liberty either to behold or speak to any beautiful person. Or does not he in okay. Okay. Go ahead. Or does, um, not he? or does not he, in consequence of emulating and envying me in amatory affairs, contrive wonderful devices, and also revile, and scarcely keep his hands from me? Right. See, therefore, that he does not do this. See, now, if you were directing this, if you were directing this, how would you want Alcibiades to be looking at Socrates myself? For Socrates to answer that, you know, taking that same thing as this man. Is he redressing himself as the most beautiful person in the world, I guess? Maybe sitting by me. Mm -hmm. Socrates says, hey, let me tell you about this guy. See what he's doing right now? He did the same thing to me. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's pursuing Socrates me. Socrates moved to a law of Alcibiades to death. In that place. I mean, yeah, else party, sit in that place. Up above, it says, uh, uh, no, not here, but it said, uh, mm -hmm. 
Socrates has made way for him. Yeah, Socrates yeah. has made way for him. But doesn't Alcibiades also have a reputation of being very beautiful? Yeah. 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 <coughs> so I think it may be. So play it, play it, play it both, both ways. Could be that he is yeah. the most beautiful of the guests. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. why he does it. See, too. therefore, that he does not also, that he does not do this now, but conciliate us. Or if he should attempt violence, assist me. For the mania of this man and his amatory impulse very much terrify me. Alcibiades then said, There is no occasion for any conciliation between so you and me. A lot of this language is, is uh, Dionysian. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's that's the impact he's supposed to have had on people. Terrified. Manic. Uh, Alcibiades? Or? So I, and destructively uh, violent. I, I have a picture now in a book that I, I always wonder about. It's a vase, a, a Grecian vase, and it has a picture of Dionysius, I mean, the encounter of mythical Dionysius, and a mask. And the mask, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's its so modern and it's looking right at you, mm -hmm. full face, and, and you never see that in a Greek statue. But it's so modern, it's not like the style that we have to be associated with mm -hmm. Greek at all. No, it's terrifying, you know, he's like, looking right at Looking right at Socrates is petitioning Agathon, uh, asking him to conciliate them and to assist him. That's like in the, uh, the myth, the petition, that the uh, petitioning the divine. And he's doing the opposite. I didn't hear you talking. He's petitioning the mortal. Hmm. So it's the opposite thing he's saying. With Agathon? The Socrates was, you were saying he was petitioning. Agathon. And it's like petitioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try the next sentence, Barbara. Okay. Watch, watch this thing. Okay. Um, let me ask them all to six. Um, there is no occasion for any conciliation between you and me. I shall, however, at some other time take vengeance on you for these things. But now, I promise to see, give me some other Phillips that I may crown the wonderful head of this man that he may not blame me that I have crowned you, but not him who vanquishes all men in discourse, not only lately as you have done, but at all times. So he denies that conciliation. Uh, is that a deal with you later? And he does want to say that he, va he vanquished everybody in discourse. Sounds quite and he wants to crown. He wants to crown Socrates too. He's quite the politician. It sounds pretty re reconciling. Except he's going to take vengeance on him later. Yeah. He's going to crown him right now, though, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to take some of the riabans from Agathon and put on Socrates. He's going to spread it around. Well, he says this is no occasion for any conciliation, and then doesn't he? Act in a conciliatory manner? Yeah, if he's going to put bride bands on his head, you think. I'm, I'm not denying that. I'm just saying, are you going to deny the fact that he also says he's going to take vengeance later? <laughs> no. I so there's, that, but it's not a complete reconciliation, it's for the moment. It's an appearance yeah, of conciliation. Yeah, it's an just an appearance. Well, you know, the whole thing sounds like a projection of what he really wants rather than what he sees. He's attributing to Socrates all the things that he is. Mm -hmm. Be careful that he doesn't touch me. Mm -hmm. He really is talking about himself rather than Socrates. Mm -hmm. Again, it would be the reverse. It's the reverse mm -hmm. of what it really is. Well, isn't he contradicting himself just to show that a little bit further, brother? Uh, he says, there is no occasion for any conciliation. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm sorry, this is no occasion for any consideration. No, and then he goes on to at least some. 
No. What is it that you can't There's no sound. Well, that, that any is what kind of grabbed me. Where's the sum? What do you do with it? Well, the sum is what he does. At some other time, take vengeance on you for these things? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, that's not what I'm saying. I, I certainly see that, but I'm saying that, that Alcibiades is contradicting himself because he says this is no occasion for any conciliation, and then I think what he does and says is conciliatory. That was the only thing. Yeah, it puts right bands on his head. Yeah, that he may not blame me. Says some nice things about him. Sounds, it, it, it impresses me as being... If somebody were to do that to me, I would consider that consolatory. Consolatory. Reconciling. Wouldn't you? I, I said that everything he does is he, yeah. he really wants yeah. to have just the opposite of what he's saying. He's saying, I really want to conciliate with you, and if you change your mind, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's telling me. So he puts his little ribbons on his head just in case he might change his mind. But then he says he's going to have vengeance on him later. Well, well he's hoping. <laughs> 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 so this is a guy who can't take his words straight. Is that everything you read to the opposite? Like a lot of people in the jury. Okay. But now Agathon says he gave me some of the pillars, and I, I may crown the wonderful head of this man, that he may not blame me that I have crowned you, but not him who vanquishes all men in discord. Not only lately, as you've done, but at all times. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> well, he just vanquished in the winning the first prize. Right. And no, no, but Socrates always does it. Yeah. Well, that's why you could call out Agathon the wisest. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, Barbara. And at the same time, receiving the fillets, he crowned Socrates and seated himself. Being seated, therefore, he said, Come, gentlemen, drink, for you appear to me to be sober. This, however, is not to be allowed, for it was agreed that we should drink. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where was it agreed that we should drink? <laughs> turns it around. Yeah. He wants to have another <laughs> sip or two. I think he does, doesn't he? <laughs> Therefore, in J. Either. Is that what it is? Either I or engage to be your leader in drinking. Hmm? I therefore. I therefore. To be your leader in drinking. Well, yeah. So you have yeah. drunk enough. Yeah. Therefore. I, 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 before the therefore. Oh, oh you're I quite see. right. I, I, didn't I, didn't see it. Yes. I didn't either. I therefore, I see. Oh, Dave should be your leader in drinking. <laughs> so you have drunk enough. He's the humble tyrant. He's <laughs> 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 over. He has a soul. He took over. <laughs> So, we were going to do that phase. What do you think? Is it still possible to weave a number of the things in it? Therefore, you go back and look for the ones that don't fit in order to weave it all or separate out those that can. All right? That gives us, see, that gives us confidence to say, okay, now we're, we are characterizing Alcibiades, are we not? We're seeing his character. We see the drama that's taking place. Mm -hmm. It's consistent. Therefore, when he's going to tell us the truth about Socrates, we now can make a statement. Mm -hmm. If it fits. If it fits, we know what to expect. 
Bird?